now we have to learn about sign of trigonometric functions consider horizontal line as x axis and vertical line as y axis a circle with center as origin and radius is equal to 1 so it is standard unit circle p x comma y be any point on the circle ray op making angle theta with positive direction of x axis pq perpendicular from p to x axis at q length of oq is x x coordinate of point p length pq is y y coordinate of point p in triangle opq sin theta is equal to opposite side y upon hypotenuse 1 which implies y is equal to sin theta cos theta is equal to x adjacent side upon hypotenuse 1 which implies x is equal to cos theta so polar coordinates of point p are cos theta comma sin theta now consider a coordinate system with horizontal line as x axis and vertical line as y axis point of intersection of these two axes is origin o these two axes divide the whole plane in four parts known as four quadrants this is first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant positive numbers on positive direction of x axis negative numbers in the negative direction of x axis positive numbers on the positive direction of y axis negative numbers on the negative direction of y axis let p x comma y be any point in the first quadrant ray op makes angle theta with positive direction of x axis in first quadrant value of theta is between 0 to 90 assuming op is equal to 1 polar coordinates of point p are cos theta comma sin theta every point in first quadrant has positive x coordinate and positive y coordinate therefore polar coordinates cos theta and sin theta of point p are both positive thus if theta is between 0 to 90 then point p is in first quadrant and its coordinates cos theta and sin theta both are positive now p x y be any point in second quadrant ray op form an angle theta with positive direction of x axis where theta is greater than 90 and less than 180 assuming op1 polar coordinates of point p are cos theta comma sin theta therefore every point in second quadrant has x coordinate negative and y coordinate positive therefore cos theta is negative and sin theta is positive in second quadrant thus we can say that if theta is between 90 to 180 then point p is in the second quadrant and its coordinate cos theta is negative and sin theta is positive now point p with coordinates x comma y be any point in third quadrant ray op form an angle theta with positive direction of x axis where theta is 
greater than 180 and less than 270. Therefore, polar coordinates of point P are cos theta and sin theta. In third quadrant, both x and y coordinates of any point are negative. Therefore, cos theta is negative and also sin theta is negative. Therefore, we can say that if theta is between 180 to 270, then point P is in the third quadrant and its coordinates cos theta and sin theta both are negative. Now, point P with coordinates x, y be any point in fourth quadrant. Ray OP form an angle theta with positive direction of x axis. So, polar coordinates of point P are cos theta and sin theta. For any point in fourth quadrant, x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. Therefore, cos theta is positive and sin theta is negative in fourth quadrant. Thus, we can say that if theta is greater than 270 and less than 360, then point P is in the fourth quadrant and its coordinates cos theta is positive and sin theta is negative.